and gentlemen, Willie here. You know, whenever I hear about bots or discussions on why they're so rampant, mm -hmm. there's always that one particular argument made in regards to them. That being an impression that each and every bot character is contributing $15 a month to Blizzard, yep. which is why there is a monetary incentive for Blizzard to just sort of let them be and not really take uh, any yeah, action I don't to that. call their population. But I was thinking about it the other day, and well, I'm not so sure that this mm -hmm. is true. In fact, I would go yeah. so far as to say I think botters paying real cash per account could actually make up quite a small portion of the overall yeah. people doing this. It's very small. So there's two big different things I want to cover off here. Number one, how does Activision Blizzard approach botting? I know usually I just say Blizzard. Honestly, I should yep. always be saying Activision Blizzard. But, Especially uh, now. It takes longer to say, and I don't feel everyone needs mm -hmm. that constant reminder that Blizzard aren't quite what they used to be 16 years ago. Yeah. And number two, what kind of person chooses to mass scale bot or gold farm? Blizzard first. Can you Someone name which money. year Activision Obviously. acquired Blizzard? I bet it's going to be far, far longer ago than you expect, because mm -hmm. it was back in late 2008, just around the time when Wrath of the Lich King was launching. One of the key selling points to Activision CEO Bobby Kotick was their non-existence in the MMO market, which World of Warcraft at that point was completely dominating. Yep. The second was Blizzard at that point had begun making entry roads into the Chinese market with NetEase. And yep. as we are aware, WoW expansions generally plan around two years ahead, so Blizzard would have very much had Wrath of the Lich King done and Cataclysm planned. And then we just so happened to get an Asian-themed expansion at a time when Activision could have certainly had more influence on the direction of the game. Hmm. Fast forward though on retail and we have many new cosmetic changes in the in-game cash shop, yeah. WoW token, amongst other things. Much of yeah. the old guard at Blizzard have left. Mike Morheim, Greg Street, Chris Metzen, just to name a few. As well as there being so much press on about negative morale, big, important, yep. long-standing, well-respected names leaving or moving to competitors. Our new CEO himself giving us delightful news such as, well, our financial results for 2018 were the best ever. We didn't realize our full potential before yep. promptly dismissing 800 staff members. The full potential is having less than a full office. Obviously, that's the way that they handle things. Uh, I, 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 as I said, I don't think that like, if they're firing people, the thing is that they fired a lot of their PR people. I don't think that removing people and, like, firing people was necessarily a bad thing, but the way Blizzard went about it was kind of bad. That's the kind of attitudes at the top end we're dealing with here. And who are the guys leaving going to be replaced with? People who align with this kind of thinking. For Activision, Blizzard could be an oil company, a toy maker, a chain restaurant. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's a vehicle to make money. As much money as possible. Far yeah. removed of the days of your midnight releases where Blizzard provided food and drink to the eager fans, the early expansions we were never had that. issue you would get hold of a real human game master, a passionate yeah. person who shared the same love of the game, a person who would RP and tell you jokes. Imagine that <laughs> It's so funny that this is like a, uh, you know, a long forgotten uh, idea of, oh, remember back in the day whenever you used to be able to talk with GMs and they would, you know, you'd have like a person from Blizzard talk to you and they'd be nice to you. It's like, it's so sad. Is any of this Activision's fault? I think that it is. Uh, my my personal assumption is that whenever Activision and Blizzard merged, uh, the majority of the people that are on the board of directors that make decisions for the company are Activision people, and because they're the majority, they place certain expectations on Blizzard because they are part of Blizzard effectively, and then Blizzard has to cut corners and do things that are imperfect in order to meet those expectations that are set by the people that are in charge who are part of Activision. That's what I think it really is. But that used to be the reality of the game we used to play. Could I feel wrong, almost certain for mind. Activision Blizzard that they are patting themselves on the back and calling Classic a free win. And what we saw at the start of Classic yeah. was so typical for Blizzard these days. A yeah. great deal of care and attention early on, and then just things sort of disappear and dry up overnight one day. It was the exact yeah. same with Overwatch. Loads of balance changes and community action early on. I remember that yeah. game getting so much praise because Blizzard were getting so heavily involved. Fast forwards though, they allowed certain meta comps to exist for over six months which were clearly overtuned like mercy with double res or pre nerf briggs to name two but i'm not going to get sidetracked into talk blizzard is not very good at balancing the game and i think that they they spend too long uh like for league i'm pretty sure doesn't league do rebalancing very quickly every yeah every other week every two weeks um i i'd be happy if blizzard did balancing more often 
but also at the same time i think that really it's just preventing certain things from being completely dominant on ladder rather than just kind of rebalancing everything just to create like because fortnite does this it's like you've got all these like add like fucking 14 year olds that they've got to keep engaged so they decide to blow up the map every three months because that's what keeps them excited about the game like i'm not saying blizzard should do that but i do think that making sure that you don't have certain things that are just continuously uh that are continuously overpowered for a long period of time that's not really good for the game i i don't think so it, it's a matter of like scale like how overpowered it is and how long it's in the game people would just complain about it. the people complain about everything but it's just about making the game better in general about specifics there and i think classic had the manpower it needed early on but a mix of lack of dedicated resources and possible apathy are leading us down a rather dark road so yeah. all that was pretty heavy stuff and you'll be saying willie what are you talking about how is any of this relevant in any way well i wanted to lay out how i feel about the state blizzard have driven themselves into because i think it has some bearing on their current approach to many of the botting issues we are experiencing today the lack of action falls into three categories itself first of all they absolutely have adequate funds to combat bots it's 15 dollars a month for all players yeah. should you choose to pay that way on top of there being a prize for the base game which of up until fairly do. recently didn't of include course. all other expansions by the way i can't name another company off the top of my head that gets away with a double paywall in order to play these days and I only a double paywall what about the wh what about having to buy you have to buy the fucking game you have to buy the expansion you have to pay for a fucking monthly fee and then there's microtransactions on top of that it's a triple dick fuck man it's a, 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 a three dicks. That's too many dicks. Like I, I, I don't know what, what is this, man? That's like a hydra of dicks. I don't think any other game ever really will. It just doesn't fit into the modern metrics of accessibility over yeah. anything else. Yet Blizzard are still pulling it off after nearly 16 years as well. Oh, and yep. that's with an in-game cash shop too, and all their other merch and all their other games. Anyways, yeah. this is a company that crowdfunded an esports event and said it would match what the players raised. When the players were so generous that they surpassed the original mm -hmm. prize pool, Blizzard pocketed what they had initially put up, so the player base entirely funded the prize pool. This is a attention people are mad about boys are supposed to continue pro so this is the worst like i remember this stream i remember this stream very very clearly i was on uh I, I was getting carried on my warlock through brd and I made this tweet and I said, attention people are mad about Blizzard supposedly not contributing to animated prize pool. This is a completely unfounded conclusion. There's no place that states this Blizzard won't contribute to the prize pool this big. Let's wait for more info. And I was fucking wrong. I gave Blizzard the benefit of the doubt and I was fucking wrong. It was so sad, man. It was so fucking sad. Blizzard did not contribute a single cent to AWC and MDI prize pool this year as they pulled their own base contribution of 500k whenever they realized how well the crowdfunding did. I wonder how many of those bought the toys would do that if they had known this. There you go. A multi-billion dollar company, but they aren't going to spend anything unless they are sure that they have to. They have the money to put into solving this issue, believe me. Secondly then, and this is the one I expect to be closest to the reality at the heart of the issue, is that there are good... Sorry, I want to make one more comment. I, I, I don't, I don't want to like get off on this too much, but I do want to say, I do think that waiting for more info and not drawing conclusions is actually a good idea and it's a good thing. And I don't think that what I did was the wrong decision, but... What I'm saying is that, like, yes, I, I said that I'm not going to crucify them for this because I don't know that this happened. But if you had to ask, if you had asked me that day if I would bet on, like, one or another, I would have bet that they would have uh, they would have not uh, take it, pulled their money. I didn't think they did it because I assumed that it was just, like, such a scummy move that Blizzard would not have done it. So, I mean, we'll see what happens people at Blizzard, people with good intentions, people who want to yeah. improve things, but there is a lack of motivation, staffing, and or training to actually handle the issue. Mm -hmm. This could root from a number of items in itself, fear of repercussions from management, incompetent management, or inadequate resources with which to moderate or meet out bans with. Thirdly, yep. they literally don't care, like, at all. If I was Activision Blizzard, I would love the <sighs> no changes crowd, because you know what they want? Nothing. nothing. And nothing yep. is pretty easy to deliver. But even looking at this from a pessimistic point of view... Is it really, though? Because 
because like somehow they managed to not do that correctly. Activision stock up 4.5% today. Bro. There is nothing we can do. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, no. Hey, as it turns out, doing nothing about botting in any serious capacity is actually good for business. <laughs> no, man. I need to invest in Activision Blizzard. This is fucking Call of Duty. Is it Call of Duty Battle Pass? Oh, maybe that could be it. What the fuck, dude? Every tech company is up right now. Maybe that is it, but it's still sad to see them making decisions that are seemingly unfriendly towards the player base and seeing those decisions be rewarded. Botting is still clearly an issue. How has botting got yep. so bad though? So much of it is plain and blatant. To be completely honest, that for the vast majority of players, they will not care about something until it affects them directly. Yep. How many people actually leave the game because of bots? Very few. How many people actually question why certain items are so cheap on the auction house? Yep. Not that many. How many people care about having it... to wait in a queue to play though? Everybody that's affected. Yep. Apart from the fact you still kind of don't really know that it's bots, people will say, ah, well, it's its peak time, or because of people having to stay indoors these mm -hmm. days when so many accounts are logged in all day every day that are boosting your queue time significantly on top of when the actual players come along at peak time in fact i feel like i've seen this all take oh place is this a bot right a here different game runescape now i know many of you guys weren't oh first no not this guy game, again and for what i'll talk about that's fine you don't need to know anything about it because i'd like to tell you what they do to handle bots <laughs> nothing about the game is he stole his fucking kill so funnily enough for reddit becoming the customer support on world of warcraft oh, here we now, go. as well as people getting auto flag for trading large volumes yep. of gold and being banned for it which in itself is a joke but i want to save that mm -hmm. for another topic in another video on old school runescape highly upvoted reddit posts are pretty much the best way to get an actual person to look into your issues amazingly old school runescape has yep. always been at odds with bots because it has free to play content as well as an item that does the same as a wow token called a bond meaning you can easily get membership version yeah i don't know a whole lot about this gold there is more focus on stopping basic bots early based upon their screen mouse movement and mm -hmm. in-game actions the developers you're gonna love this wait till you hear this the developers actually go on stream and run around verifying bots look in their bank mess about with them and then ban them live they put on a show a show that says hey we see this as a problem we're making efforts to combat this they also do bro what why doesn't blizzard do this it's called bot busting all right i'll, I'll look at it after this frequent dev updates where they take questions on Twitter wow. live on stream. What do we have in World of Warcraft? Only person I can name off the top of my head is Kyvax, who is the community manager for Classic. We don't have any rapport yep. with Blizzard directly. I mean, Lotus changes came in fairly recently, so clearly there is some degree of listening, but something more would be some nice. Some degree. Even if it's just more fun-oriented stuff, not every single thing needs to be a serious discussion, of course. It's just the cultural approach Blizzard has to Classic is very distant, and I can only assume that they assume it's not really worth any additional resources to try and create this additional content. So that was well, the reason why they don't talk to the classic community is because the classic community spurs out whenever they do it. I, 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 I understand why Blizzard doesn't want to talk to the classic community. Uh, it makes sense. Yeah, they completely spurg out. A and like sometimes it doesn't happen. Recently, it hasn't happened. Uh, like with the Lotus changes, I think most people are pretty much positive about that. Uh, with a few of the other changes, I think Blizzard did with like adding back layering. I think most people are pretty much positive about that. Uh, but y you can't deny the fact that people are unnecessarily vitriolic about classic and you know the little things that happen inside of it it's just like retail come on you know it's bullshit no i think the classic community is by far much more toxic and vitriolic and abusive than the retail community as someone who's been part of both of them for i mean 15 years i'd say classic is a lot worse yeah i mean obviously retail has its problems but classic is a completely different universe
to my nice brief talk about Blizzard and what I think their approach to bots and yeah. classic is. Now for the botters themselves. What mm -hmm. kind of person runs a mass scale botting operation? I'm not talking about your average Joe who has an honor farm bot or okay. just uses it for personal gain. I'm talking about the guys who are plowing literally dozens of accounts through big servers as soon as they unlock or could be found doing a slash who on dungeons all day, every day. Simply put for people who bought or trade gold for real life money. I forgot. Somebody asked me to slash who Grim Batal and slash who Botanica. All of these demon hunters in no guild doing this over and over and over. Hey, this is fucking ridiculous. Any of them at least, it's far more lucrative of an option okay. than seeking full-time employment or gaining an education in their yep. native country. Honestly, it's quite a sad state of affairs that this is the case, but whether it's due to massive unemployment, hyperinflation, or just the strong value of the dollar compared to their native currency, these are the people who will not only bot, but play the game yep. as if it were a job. And the price of WoW fee is generally around $15 worldwide, even when translated into other currencies. Okay. Even in countries where your average monthly salary, maybe a few hundred dollars. So you put these two facts together and you have a system where an in-game option to pay for a sub with gold mm -hmm. becomes very attractive. Now exactly. I'm not saying this is anything new, bots have existed in WoW since the dawn of time, so clearly this isn't too high of an obstacle for a dedicated person. However, the existence of a WoW token makes it so much more convenient and profitable. And remember, yep. though there is no WoW token in Classic, there is in Retail, not you yet. can play either version of the game with that uh subscription. I think that they will add a WoW token in Classic WoW. I, I still think that they're going to do it. Uh, like, it, it's it, there's just no way it won't happen. I hope so. Like, the thing is that there are good things that the WoW token brings, but, like, the days of having any sort of prestige associated with anything that you accomplish in Classic WoW, like your Epic Mount, for example, the moment they add a WoW token into Classic WoW is the day that getting your Epic Mount doesn't matter. Like, it would just simply not matter anymore because, it, it, I mean, like, you can just buy it. It already doesn't matter. Well, okay, well, you're right, but it would matter even less than it does now. And retail hasn't ridded itself of bots, far yeah. from it. Check this out, for example. So, bot retail, buy token, use on the account for classic, bot classic, repeat. I mean, many multi-boxers already do exactly this to pay their way through funding many Wait, accounts. 50 and people? You can bet bots are saving thousands upon thousands Holy a year by getting shit. the funds in-game instead of paying for it with real money. Let me tell you a good example from old school RuneScape again. Following the financial issues in Venezuela leading to hyperinflation, there has been what? an enormous amount of Venezuelan players coming into old school RuneScape. The bot. To farm gold to sell in real <laughs> so bots farm botanica bots farm the botanica i mean sometimes these kinds of things i mean they're just so poetically beautiful that you have to just sit back and just lean back and and truly just appreciate them life thing is these people are not bots but they're just farming gold because yeah. it beats out any average wage they could earn in their country so this right here yeah they're farming gold so Venezuelans, uh, WoW gold is worth more than Venezuelan currency, or it was at some point. So it's not a surprise that they're going to go out of their way to try to farm in video games. And there's people that are in these third world countries, and they're, they're farming and they're botting in these games because it's the best way for them to make money. And here's what the real problem is. It's that, let's say you make $70 botting a week. Well, there's a lot of people that... A hundred, two hundred and forty dollars a month for them is a big fucking deal. Like for for like a comparison, my mom only got two hundred dollars of food stamps back whenever we were on food stamps. So it's actually more money than getting basically a government handout. So even people in the U.S. are going to take advantage of this. Even people in the U.S. This is a very extreme example. I accept that, but there's no way they can afford game time with real mm -hmm. money. I'm sure to a certain extent some of this carries over to WoW. So I think the real claim that each bot is $15 a month is likely to be far from true. Blizzard, of course, will have the real numbers, and I'm also sure they can see who yep. is subbing how. I bet trends for WoW token subs have gone up considerably since Classic. In fact, I would be willing to bet on it. Not like we'll ever know for sure, though. In fact, I think the real benefit for Blizzard is the amount of player interaction and sub counts that can be taken to the 
the top end management on reports being able yep. to say we have x amount of hours played this has gone up by this much we have this many subscriptions coming in it's the kind of stuff that will keep the guys who want this game to make as much money as possible happy i'm not wholly here's what we can do i just thought of this this is kind of related to the video but i want to say this what we're gonna do is we are going to each file reports on all of these individual bots we are going to write their names down and one week from today we are going to go on the exact same servers and we're going to see if blizzard is actually fixing the problem and we'll see if the names are still there or not that's what we're going to do we will do an actual experiment to see if Blizzard is going out of their way to ban bots or not. And then after that, we can even go over to Classic WoW and we can do the same thing if people would like to see that as well. I will go over to ZG and those fucks that are inside the instance have to zone out eventually. And the moment that they zone out, we will all report them. So you know what? And we'll, we'll put it to the test. We'll see if Blizzard actually fixes these problems. I, haven't, I, I can't believe I haven't thought about this until now. Like, uh, yeah, this is, yeah, l let's actually try to make this happen, guys. This is, this is a good idea. I'm convinced that it's just bots being kept about because Blizzard make money. I think the culture in Blizzard has shifted over time to accommodate more of Activision's okay. driving motives for success, that being money. There is a fundamental disconnect to the top end management who are now in place that don't fully yep. comprehend how different an ever changing game is to manage compared to other markets, and that for the purposes of presenting yeah, they're a too good used look to doing game, bots boost playtime and numbers considerably. Making accounting All the decisions. Same, the volume of bots at the moment and quite frankly their lack of fear of repercussions are getting far out of hand. Absolutely. I think it will soon bring some sort of action from Blizzard, especially considering yep. following servers have been unlocked on NA and we can see literal conga lines of bots the following day before Blizzard have to read Conga lines again. of bots. I mean, some of the bots that you see running about appear to have extremely basic scripting and yep. very strange and questionable movement. So it does make you wonder what levels of anti-cheat or complete lack thereof there is currently in the game. Yeah, anyway, not. this has gone on for a bit. What are your thoughts on this as to why bots are still so prevalent? Will All there right. be any action soon or will there not? Hoping for the former, dreading the latter, right. personally. As always, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one. If you like what you see, give the video a like and subscribe as there's plenty more to come. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. Bye. Blizzard. Fat enough of this bullshit.